Welcome, fans, to this Wednesday evening matchup between the Marlboro High School Panthers and the Westboro High School Rangers here at Navin Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Marlboro coming off a thrilling victory over Wachusett. 4 1 victory. Saw Chris, excuse me, Marcus Christofidis net a hat trick. Also, a goal chipped in by Anthony Giansanti. But that was then and this is now, and we're underway here at the Navy Arena for Westboro and Marlboro. Face off coming right up. And Westboro's gonna come away with it. Quickly gets it into neutralize. And Marlboro dumps it into an attacking zone. Quick pressure by Marlboro, center the shot's gonna be deflected. And the shot's gonna go wide. Good job of Massey keeping the puck into the zone. Puck nearly takes off the head of one of the Westboro players as it trickles into the Marlboro zone. Drew Teddy comes away with it. And Marlboro on the attack. And goal tonight for Marlboro is going to be the sophomore, 
Matthew McCoy as that shot is saved by Patrick Riley, goaltender for Westboro. The 31s will be battling in that tonight. And here she's Westboro into neutral ice, dumps it into the Marlboro zone. Farrell getting it on to Mitchell Ice, and Westbrook does a good job coming right back in. And Marlboro on the attack. Matt Skellings with the puck. Loses his footing, and Westbrook's going to come away with it. And Westbrook's going to clear right back into the Marlboro end. Marlboro playing good defense, able to get the puck away from Westbrook. Clear the puck out. Marlboro doing a good job as they always do, keeping the puck in the attacking zone. Putting a lot of pressure on, not really giving the opposing team a chance to breathe as the puck is gathered at the point and shot in and it's deflected. Puck's gonna trickle out into the neutral zone and Marlboro's gonna have to reset. Knocked off the puck. Keen Santa able to almost come away with the shot. And Westboro clears. McCoy's gonna stop him behind his net. And it's gonna pirouette. Looking to set something up. Knocked off the puck just briefly. And Hunt's still looking to get something going. As Westboro puts the pressure on the near tackle zone. Quickly over to Gian Santi. Gian Santi gets it back behind LaCroy. And here comes Massey up to Gian Santi. And Westbrook's going to come away with it. And clear. Tanera with a muscle the puck along the bare boards. And here comes Tanera. Into neutral ice, and he's gonna clear before Tanera gets hammered against the boards. Nice play there by Drew Teddy. And the shot there is gonna go wide by Katie. Teddy, excuse me. That's where I'm putting some early pressure on the Panthers at the moment. Nice little on the board there. Westboro being the aggressor early. Doing a good job of keeping the pressure on Marlboro. And LaCroix able to keep that one out. It's gonna bounce along the boards and we're gonna get an icing. So usually Marlboro comes out aggressively as quickly puts point on the points on the board, but not this evening as Westboro has made a point to come out early and be the ones who are the aggressors. Taking the fight right to Marlboro. And his face off, Marlboro's gonna come away with it. Good job of Marlboro getting that puck in the open ice and by Benjamin Newman. And the puck trickled just along the uh, doorstep of the uh, goal. Lucky for Westboro, they're able to clear. A disaster there. As Marlboro is looking to clear the puck. Near steal there by Max Ayers. And Westboro does get the steal. Good job there by Dylan Hunt. Again, Westboro being the early aggressor. And Marlboro defense able to clear the puck. Westboro quickly regains. And Marlboro steals it right back. And here comes Westboro into the attacking zone. Shot from the point is going to be saved. Good job there by LaCroix. And we'll get a face off. And 
Face off will come to the right circle of LeBroy. With a nice save. Westbrook comes away with it. Quick shot's gonna be smothered again by LaCroix and we'll do the same thing with the face-off. Marlboro's gonna come away with it. Gene Sensi pick up. They're trying to turn the favor with some pressure of their own. They're able to keep the puck in. There's a shot. And it's going to be a save. Good job there by Pat Riley. Senior goalie for the West Ball Rangers. Puck's dropped. And West Bro is going to throw it right behind the backwards again. And Marlboro looking for the centering pass. Gets it out to neutral ice and they're going to have to reset. Good job there. Chris Afidis getting the puck deep into the, deep into the attacking zone. Set something up, and the puck is going to be cleared to neutral ice. Close call there. Evangelist nearly knocked through the boards. Saw the man at the last second, just able to get out of the way and avoid the contact. Shot there goes wide by Dylan Hunt. And Westboro is going to throw that pass all the way down into the marble end and we'll get a face off. So Marlboro is starting to turn up their pressure a little bit. 15-34 remaining in the first period and a 0-0 score. Westboro came out on fire being aggressive and putting all their pressure on. And now Marlboro trying to do the same as that shot goes wide. Marlboro into the neutral zone. Excuse me, Westboro into the neutral zone. Shot's going to be tipped and go out of play. Westboro wins the face-off. Shot from points deflected. Marble on the attack. Gets it across the blue line. And it looks like they're going to get a penalty here. Looks like that's going to be number seven, Drew Lewis Kenny. Kenny. I'm gonna make sure I get the proper pronunciation, pronunciation of that gentleman's name before I continue to butcher it for this evening. Face off's gonna come in the Westboro in to the right of Patrick Riley. Puck's gonna be dumped. And LaCroix is gonna stop it just behind his net. Because Marlboro on the attack. Gets the puck across the blue line. Again, we're just looking to set something up. Back to Tanera. Shot there by Chris Feed is going to go wide. After it's deflected by Riley. Chris Feed with a nice move. Gets it back up to Hunt. Over to Chris Feed. And that's going to be a goal by Chris Feed. Who else? Marcus Christophides. Of 
one of the most dangerous players for the Marlboro Panthers this season. He gets on the board and in typical fashion, Marlboro is going to go on the board first. With 14-29 remaining here in the first period, they go up one and nothing. Tanero's going to come away with it. And he's going to dump it into the Westboro zone. Jan Santi with the puck. Swings it along the half boards, but Westboro's going to come away with it. Westboro looking at Clare, but Marlboro's going to come away with it. Tanero with the boards. Quick bit of ice. Marlboro on the attack. Center pass going. And that shot's going to go in. Another quick goal. This time, Cameron Ellsworth. Marlboro quickly going up two to nothing here in the first period. Ellsworth got the puck in neutral ice and with speed made his way through all the Westboro defenders with a nice shot. Put Marlboro up two to nothing with 14.02 here to go in the first period. Stop. Westboro's going to come away with it. And they're able to clear the puck into Marlboro in. <laughs> Puck's going to go up the ice. Matt Skilling's going to dump it in. Marlboro looking to set something up up. Right in the doorstep and that's going to be saved. Shot on goal is going to be deflected. Nice play there by LaCroy. Two Marlboro players collide. And Tanera is going to get the puck and look to set it up. Tanera quickly up ice, but his man wasn't paying attention. That was Matt Skillings trying to get up ice. He wasn't aware that the puck was right behind him. Tanera back along the back of the inboards. Really a great pass there. Marlboro almost had a breakaway there, but Puck's gonna bounce out of play. We're gonna get a face off. Marlboro comes away with it. Gets it along the backboards. Here comes Evangelist. Good moves. Centering pass is going to be deflected. Evangelist. Pass is going to be stolen. And here comes Westboro on the move. And Hunt's going to gather before he's knocked off the puck. And here comes Marlboro. Evangelist with the puck. Over to Lind and Lind has his pass stolen and Westboro is in his possession. Westboro's going to clear and make a change. Two players meet at the inboard and the Vangelis comes away with it. Weapons pass nearly intercepted. And Westboro allows the puck to trickle into neutral ice and here comes Marlboro again. Chris Afidis with the puck. Ducks underneath his man. Some beautiful moves. Westboro is able to get possession. There, yeah, Marlboro gets it right back. Nice hit there by Fantasia. Play. Next up. 
Pass deflected by Giosanti and Marlboro's on the break. Foot race to the puck for Giosanti and Rally's gonna cover it up and we're gonna get a face off. Face off will come to the circle to the left of Riley. Pucks up, best boy player stumbles. The Rangers are able to get the puck into neutral ice and into the Marlboro zone. And the player's gonna be knocked off the puck. And here comes Marlboro, Gian Santi, quick layup. Over the blue line. And he's gonna be taking off the puck. So after a fast start, Westboro putting on some early pressure. Kind of died down a little bit here as Marlboro is taking a 2 0 lead. Kind of put a little water on that fire as Marlboro has a puck center and pass goes wide. Marlboro does a good job keeping it in there. In. Shot on the doorstep. It's going to be saved and covered as Riley is there. Get a face off. 10 3 remaining in the first period. Panthers leading the Rangers by a score 2 0. We'll have a switch out. Ice into the neutral zone at the point. And that pass is going to be successful. Good play there. Dylan Hunt doing a good job knocking his man off the puck. Another quality save there by Hunt as Marlboro is able to come away with the puck. Matt Farrell with possession, loses it. And there comes Marlboro. Center of the pass, and it's going to be stolen. And we'll get a tie up there, and we'll get a face off as some extracurricular activities going on in the West Ball end. Got Breeze will step in front. Nothing to see here, boys. Set for face off. Face a feeding shot. It's going to be deflected. Back to the point. That's Hunt. And the shot's going to be caught. Puck does go into neutral ice, so Margo is going to have to reset as he gets this. That's still doing a good job. And Marlboro returns the favor with a good job of their own. Stealing the puck. Bottom goal is going to be saved. Good job there by LaCroix. As Hunt gets the puck, the puck all the way down to the West Bruin. And it's going to be a play on. Things attempt to dump the puck back into the West Berlin is unsuccessful, and now Marlboro looks to set it up. Puck's gonna be cleared by Marlboro. Westboro dumps it right back into the Marlboro zone. And we're gonna get an ice So we'll all meet back at the other end. Just to the left side of Patrick Riley for a faceoff. Off. 
nothing with the rather aggressive pass. <laughs> what a call into Nara. This goes wide. And the going to have to reset as the puck goes into neutral ice. Westbro comes away with the puck. And they're just going to dump it in as they look to set something up. Good job there along the boards. Cameron Ellsworth with a great hit. Good job there, Jim Santiago to get the puck off the boards. And here comes Marlboro. Back over to Jim Santi. Jim Santi is going to dump it into the Westboro end, and they're going to look to set up as Marlboro gets a change. Westboro is going to dump the puck full length and we'll get a face off. So, a game that started out hot with Westboro showing a lot of fire, putting on a lot of pressure, quickly turned into Marlboro, returning the favor and putting on pressure their own, putting in two quick goals, and that's where we stand. Just over six and a half minutes to go in the second period. And Marlboro with possession. Centering pass is going to go wide. Pass from the point is going to be deflected. And Westboro on the attack. Drew is going to be knocked off the puck. And here comes Marlboro. Centering pass by Marlboro. It's going to be a magnificent save. As Benjamin Haman was right on the doorstep. We're gonna stop the play. Things are getting a little physical out here. Matt Farrell doing a good job of properly introducing himself to one of the Westboro players right along the blue line. Set up. And Marlboro is going to flip the puck and neutralize. Looking to maybe put up one more goal before we get to the intermission. Centering pass is going to be deflected. Looking for another shot opportunity. Good job of Tanera keeping the puck in the attacking zone. The shot through traffic is going to be deflected and it's going to go all the way down and we'll be at a face off as it'll be icing. Marlboro looking to get things set up. He's coming along the boards there. Westboro frantically looking to get on the boards. 
Now they'll put the pressure on. And the pass can be stolen. And Marlboro's gonna come away with it. Into the attacking zone, center and pass. Gonna be deflected. Four minutes to go here in the first period. Stumbles, yes, bro. Briefly with the opportunity to get the pup. And my bro does a good job coming away with it. Looks like we're gonna get a holding penalty. penalty and a face-off. Reset. penalty on a play. They try to sort through the confusion. And that penalty is going to be on Westboro. Looks like it's going to be on number 11, Sam Schiffman. Looking to maybe put one more rush on before the end of the period. And open to Pusafidis. Centering pass is going to be deflected. Had a man open right on the doorstep. And that puck is going to shoot out to neutralize. And here comes Pusafidis. Quickly into it. And that pass is going to be. Excuse me, that shot's going to be deflected. We're going to continue on the five pressure on the power play. On the doorstep. And what do we have? Oh, 
Looks like no goal. No goal, so we'll remain at 2-0. 144 remaining here in the first period. out of the zone as they clear Marlboro looking to set back up. 25 seconds remaining on the power play. And then here comes Marlboro on the attack. Centering pass just goes wide. And here comes Westboro. Sean Coughlin and his shot's gonna be deflected. Great job there by Luke Massey. 55 seconds remaining here in the first period. And the power play is over. And Marlboro's gonna dump it right back in to the Westboro end. Thirty seconds remaining in the period. Looking to get one more attack, and Westboro comes away with it. And that's going to be a goal. Jackson Bone. He worked it right in to just about every Marlboro defender and was able to get the puck just in the five hole of, of LaCroix. Great individual effort there by that young man. Westboro's gonna inch a bit closer with 16.9 seconds remaining here in the first period. And the score is now two to one, Marlboro leading. Westboro's gonna come away with it. And Marlboro's gonna gather up behind the net. Marlboro with possession. And that's gonna do it for the end of the first period. Great start, great action. Marlboro goes up quickly, two to nothing, and Westboro comes away with the goal just before the end of the period. That's gonna do it for us here in the first period. Marlboro leading Westboro by a score of two to one. We'll be right back.
And we're back to the Magna Arena for the second period. Marlboro Panthers versus the Westboro Rangers. Marlboro currently with a 2-1 lead. After the Rangers put on a late goal just towards the end of the second, uh, excuse me, first period. Westboro with a little bit of life now after closing the gap. Shot's gonna go wide. Marlboro looking to set up. And Evangelist gonna get over Chris Afidis. Westboro is gonna take it right back. And no reset. And the puck's gonna trickle along the backboards. Westboro comes away with it. Into neutral ice. Puck's gonna be shot and goes wide. Another shot. But LaCroix was ready for it. And we're gonna get a face off. Attacking zone. And the inboard's looking to set up. Centering pass to Tanero goes wide. All right, boys, doing a good job keeping the puck in the attacking zone. Looking to increase this lead. Tanero from the point. is going to clear, and Marlboro with the setup. Actually, Westboro is going to gain possession with the shot. Nice save by LaCroix. Another shot goes wide. And here's Westboro now with the attacking pressure. Job of defense, getting the steal. But Westboro almost had a nice pass right to the slot, but it was deflected by Marlboro. And here comes Marlboro. Ah, Farrell just lost control of the puck. Still was able to put a nice centering pass on that goes wide. Around, trying to get possession of the puck. But Westboro does a good job of clearing. Marlboro not letting Westboro get that puck out of their zone as quickly as they'd like to. Tape to tape as Marlboro gets the puck into neutral ice and then across the blue line into the attacking zone. Westboro goes with the ice and we'll get an ice one. Bit of a slow start for both teams here in the second period. Once again, trying to fill each other out. Not wanting to make any mistakes and give up that crucial goal for Westboro. It could be a tying goal for Marlboro. It could be a back-breaking two-point lead. Westboro comes away 
possession. Quickly up ice. And it's going to be a steal by Chris Afidis. Chris Afidis putting the pressure on his man, trying to knock him off ice, and he does briefly. And Westbrook gets it right back. Marlboro looking to keep the puck in the zone, but the pass was deflected. And the puck's going to go out of play. and Westboro gains possession. Quickly across the red line. And Marlboro is going to bang it right back in and the puck's going to go out of play. Face off. So at the neutral zone face off. Right at center ice. Marlboro's gonna come away with it. Dangerous pass there. As Kinera and Ruffin were looking to get something set up. That shot's gonna go just over the head of Riley. Marlboro looking for center and pass, it's gonna be deflected. And that shot from the point's gonna be deflected, and here comes Westbro. Two on one opportunity. And a nice play defensively there by Marlboro. Great defensive possession by Marlboro. Westbrook is going to gain possession and neutralize for getting the puck into Marlboro in. So as both teams make changes, Marlboro will come away with possession and look to get something going. And we're going to get a penalty. Gonna get a tripping call on Anthony Pascal of Westboro. So not exactly what the Rangers are looking for. Giving Marlboro an opportunity to go onto the power play and possibly increase the lead. of the puck. Shot from the points. Gonna be saved. Good job by Riley getting that left pad on it. And the puck's gonna be deflected out of play. Just over 16 minutes to go here in the second period. Marlboro holding on to a slim two to one lead. From the point on Dosta, Westboro able to deflect it, come away with the steal. Great job there defensively. Dylan Hunt able to knock his man off the puck and gain possession. And here comes Marlboro again on the attack. And the puck is going to be intercepted by Westboro. And here comes Westboro. Marlboro defenders doing a good job. Making sure they get back, put the pressure on, and not really giving Westboro an opportunity to get an easy shot on goal. Here comes Westboro on the attack. Pass goes wide. Nick Pascal had his man. Shot the pass just a little bit wide. And here's Chris Fides. Working behind the net. And he's going to be knocked off the puck. Coming along the boards. Marlboro comes away with it again. Chris Fides with the backhand, goes wide. Nice hit along the boards. About 30 seconds remaining in the power play for Marlboro. We're gonna get a face off. Both teams make the change. Yes, 
Castro is going to clear it into the marble end. Montanero look to set up. Quickly up ice. Into the attacking zone. Tanero with the puck. Slightly knocked off. Still with it. Puts it to the point. Back down to Tanero. Tanero with the centering pass. Goes wide. Power plays over as Marlboro has been able to capitalize on the man advantage. Shot's gonna go wide. Marlboro putting the pressure on. Right on the doorstep, and Riley's gonna smother that, and we're gonna get a face off. So, this second period, Marlboro has been putting on intense pressure, really trying to take control of this game again. Even though they have a slight lead, Westboro was able to apply some pressure towards the end of the first period. And Marlboro is trying to take all that back. And it's going to be kept in. Again, Marlboro is doing a great job there. Ruffin is doing a great job keeping the puck in the attacking zone, not letting Westboro do a good job of clearing. Nearly a steal there by Marlboro. Number 12, Cameron Ellsworth. Got a girl, a goal, excuse me, early in the game. Westboro coming. Actually, Marlboro, both teams looking to gain possession as the puck bounced around. That's in a rice. And here comes Marlboro again on the attack. Devin Hunt looking to make something happen. Hunt's going to get the pass over to the left point, right point. Shot's going to go wide, and Riley's going to get it in the glove for a save. I'm on opposing team's goalie. I'm making sure I'm getting plenty of sleep the night before the game because Marlboro applies pressure from the opening puck drop until the final whistle. And nearly another goal there by Chris Afidis as he was just unable to get his stick on the puck. Shot's gonna be saved. Chris Afidis from the left, Chris Afidis from the left point. Again, puck's gonna be saved. And we're going to get a tripping penalty on Marlboro. It's going to be Evangelist. He's going to go in the box for this one. Tripping penalty on the play. So Westboro with a great opportunity here to tie things up with 12 minutes and 18 seconds remaining here in the game. The Marlboro penalty kill is going to have to come up strong for this one. Westboro swinging the puck around, looking for an opportunity as the Marlboro defenders just packed tightly in front of the goal. And the puck's going to roll harmlessly down to the Westboro end as they'll look to reset. Tadera doing a good job of knocking this man off the puck in a position. Westboro sets up. Killing precious moments on his, on his power play. And here they come on the attack. Cross ice. And the puck's gonna go. Roll back into the Westboro end. But Marlboro is going to come away with possession. Just under a minute left on the power play. And a great hit there. Great job. That was number 10, Luke Massey.
comes Westboro again on the attack. 30 <laughs> seconds left in their power play, and they're just going to dump the puck in, see if their forecheck can get anything going. And it doesn't. Marlboro able to get the puck as they come on the attack. And that shot's going to be saved. Matt Skillings with a beautiful opportunity there. 10.32 remaining. Westboro with 15 seconds remaining on their power play. Over the Rangers. going to go out of play. The power play is going to end. Evangelist is going to find himself back onto the ice. Where he belongs. Not doing the team much good in the box. Along with Chris Peters, Evangelist, one of the more dangerous players on this Marlboro team. That shot's going to be deflected and go over the head of Riley. And here comes Westboro on the attack. And once again, Marlboro able to do a good job of stealing the puck. And Marlboro's gonna shoot the puck full ice and we'll get an icing call. So we'll reset back down to the Marlboro end. The face off just to the left of McCroy. Left circle. Tripping. This time the penalty is going to be on Noah Lind. So Westboro once again with an opportunity on a power play. 9.40 remaining here in the second period. job on defense to get the puck away. Marlboro very aggressive here. We're in a penalty kill. Doing a great job of getting the puck all the way back down into the Westboro end. <laughs> and here come the Rangers across the red line into the second zone. They're going to dump it into the Marlboro end. And Marlboro quickly gets it back out to neutral ice. Westboro on the attack. Marlboro aggressively gets the puck away. Nearly a breakaway there by Matt Farrell. Goes wide. Nice opportunity there by Westboro. And that shot's gonna go wide also, but great job of the defenders by Marlboro. Zach Ruffin able to knock his man completely on his back. And here come the Rangers again on the attack. And we're gonna get an icing. Eight oh four remaining here in the second period. Twenty five seconds remaining on the Westboro power play, but unfortunately for them, the faceoff is going to come in their end. Just to the right side of goalie Patrick Riley. And West 
Castro pause behind the goalie and look to set things up. As precious time ticks away on their power play. And here come the Rangers on the attack. Nice moves and Marlboro comes away with it. Quickly gets the puck into neutral ice. And the power play is over. Both teams at full strength. Plays the puck into the Marlboro end. And Tanera comes away with it. Quickly gets it up ice. Shot's gonna go wide. Great look there by Matt Skillings. Tanera with the puck. And the goalie's gonna tie it up and we're gonna get a face off. Tanera doing a good job of taking things into his own hands. Seen just about enough. He's ready to put this game away on his own. Westboro players didn't quite like the fact that uh, Cameron Ellsworth knocked the puck in after the whistle. Kind of let him know about it there. And Marlboro comes away with it. It's an error from the point. And Riley's gonna smother and we're gonna get another face off. Beautiful opportunity. themselves up off the ice. It looks like we we're actually going to get a penalty called. And it's going to be a penalty on Westboro. Looks like that's number seven. Again, Drew Lewis, Katie, Teddy. So now Marlboro is going to have their opportunity. It's 6.55 remaining here in the second period to increase their lead as they're currently ahead by a score of two to one. Does a good job clearing the puck. And the puck is quickly up ice into the attacking zone. Good job there by Marlboro, keeping him in the attacking zone. Pass over to Chris Afidis. Chris Afidis with the shot. It's going to be saved. Love saved by Riley. Chris Afidi is right on the doorstep. Riley is up to the task. And looks like we're going to get another penalty. This one on Marlboro. going to be on Noah Lynn. So we'll get a little four and four here. Video game style. And here comes Marber on the attack. Evangelist up to Chris Afidis. Chris Afidis with the shot and it goes wide. Take down there, it wasn't called. And foot race to the puck. It's gonna be won by Hunt. Run along the boards, looking to set something up. And his pass is gonna be stolen. Chris Feeney's with the puck. Shot goes wide. 
And Tamara keeps it, but Westboro taps it out. And Westboro's on the attack. Great play there. Awesome job by Luke Massey. Applying the hit. And a save. 5.05 remaining. Marble clinging on to a 2-1 to one lead. And 10 seconds remaining on the Westboro penalty. 44 seconds remaining on the Marlboro penalty. So Westboro will have a few seconds remaining of a power play. penalties now over and they'll be on the man advantage for the next 20 seconds. out of their zone. Both teams will make a change. Just over four minutes remaining here in the game. Marble with the steal. Centering pass. And it goes in! Whoa! What can you say? Marble knows how to put it away. When it's winning time, the Panthers step up. Great job there by the Panthers. Matt Farrell able to get his stick on the puck, puck in the net, and another point on the board as Marlboro goes up by a score of three to one, with 4:02 remaining here in the second period. So now West blows in a desperate situation with the near steal. As Marble just, to hang on, just has to hang on for the next three and a half minutes to secure the victory. And here come the Panthers on the attack again. Quickly up ice. And gonna lose possession. There's Westboro. Looks to get back in this game, but they're running out of time. Centering pass, shot is gonna be saved. Great job by LaCroix. And nice steal there by Giansanti. Giansanti up the boards. He's gonna to get to the center. Oh, his initial shot whip. He's gonna get it set up over to Tanera. Jan Santi with a nice opportunity there, just couldn't get a stick on the puck. And Tanera's gonna set it up. As he gets the puck along the half woods. Jan Santi gets it over to Tanera. Tanera gets it over to Jan Santi. Nice move by Jan Santi. Centering pass gonna be tipped in the air. Nelly trickled in. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the game. Marlboro now leading by a score of three to one. And that puck's gonna go all the way down into the Marlboro end where Tanera gets control. Nice job there. Tanera gets the puck up ice. And Luke Massey on the boards. Puck's gonna be knocked out of play. We we'll get a face off. 142 remaining in the game. Marlboro leading by a score of three to one.
quick shot. Save, we'll get another face off. Pop came right over to Chris Afidis off the face off. He took a quick snipe. And the Goldie Riley smother it and we'll get a face off just to his left. Oh boy, able to keep it in there in. In the West Row in. Gets the puck up to the point. Nice shot on goal, and yeah, it's going to be a save. 126 remaining here in the second period. Face off to be won by Westbrook. Quick little to neutral ice. And across the blue line. But Marlboro does an excellent job of getting the puck away. Westbrook is going to have to reset as they were off sides. Good job by Marlboro. Coming away with the steal. As we're getting close to a minute remaining in the game. Dangerous pass. Absolutely dangerous pass by Dylan Lind. As he tried to get it across ice. But there were two Westboro players barreling down on the Croy. Lucky for Marlboro, nothing was able to be come out of that. And with 56 seconds remaining here in the second period, Marlboro again holding on to a three to one lead. We'll get a face off just to the left of the Croy. It looks like we're gonna get a timeout. So the teams will talk things over. And we'll be back right after this. for the face-off, Navin Arena. Marlboro Panthers against the Westboro Rangers. Marlboro with a 3-1 lead as we're under a minute remaining in the first, and excuse me, in the second period. Puck's gonna go out of play and we'll get another face-off. To the point, shot from the point goes wide. Oh. Westbrook trying desperately to get at least one more good shot on goal. As 30 seconds now remain, and we have an empty net. <laughs> 23 seconds remaining. Westbrook on the attack with the extra man. right over the head of LaCroix. Five seconds left. We'll get another face off. A couple players needing to be separated. Looks like Zachary, excuse me, Zachary Roughing was uh, showing a Westboro player exactly what the score is. Wasn't sure if there was a question of who was winning the game or not, but Roughing was doing a good job of making sure the Westboro player knew. 
Some extracurriculars with five seconds left. Games such as this, things like that will tend to happen as emotions would get a little out of hand. But no harm, no foul. It's a competitive sport. It's been a heated game. And it's coming to an end. And by the looks of it, Marlboro is going to come away with the victory. With five seconds left, currently up three to one. And the puck's drop. It's going to bounce around. It's going to be centered. And that's going to do it. So LaCroix is going to come away with the win in net for the Panthers. And Marlboro High School is going to come away victorious over Westboro High with a score of 3-1. to one. That's going to do it here from the Navin Arena. My name is Rayshawn Link. Have a great evening.